When undesirable lactic acid bacteria grow, they can produce ropey wines, mousy wines, and wines with high levels of volatile acidity. Increased D-lactic acid levels provide a warning that this unwanted bacterial growth is occurring. Corrective action, like increasing SO2 levels, can be taken. The earlier corrective action is taken, the less invasive and the less expensive it needs to be. This is a D-lactic acid test kit. To run a D-lactic acid test, you'll need a diluent tube with a green cap, a long tip sampler, a short tip sampler, and a test strip. Step one dilutes the sample one to four to reduce the concentration of interfering substances. To run step one, you'll need a diluent tube with a green cap and a long tip sampler. Squeeze the upper bulb once, place the tip of the sampler into the wine, and release the bulb. The samples contained in the straight portion, excess samples contained in the overflow bulb. Wipe the outside of the tip with a downward swipe to remove excess sample. Remove the green cap, put the tip into the diluent, squeeze once, and remove it before releasing the bulb. Replace the green cap, and shake. To run step two of the D-lactic acid test, you will need a test strip, a small sampler, and a diluted sample. Remove the cap from the green tube, squeeze the sampler by the top bulb, place the tip into the wine sample, and release. The samples contained in the straight portion, excess samples contained in the overflow bulb. Place the strip circle side down, Place the tip in the absorbent pad, apply slight pressure, squeeze once to release the sample. The test takes four minutes. We'll start a timer. Time's up. We'll match the color in the round circle to the color chart. The color of this wine is, corresponds to 300 milligrams per liter. That's it. With your wines being monitored, remember, relaxation is part of the good life. And nothing is better than your own wine.